Welcome to FNG Maths Ask Atul Jo series. In today's episode, I will talk about three strategies to create authentic post MBA goals. Number one, finding the school's reputation. No matter how much schools customize their curriculum and offer majors and specialization, there are four types of business schools: general management, finance, consulting, and schools with high technology placement. These schools know very well the kind of application pool they are targeting. So, if you write a post MBA goal to transition into, say, investment banking and the placements in the school are mostly in consulting and technology regardless of the feasibility of your goals the school might not help you reach that goal to create authentic post mba goals you must research the feasibility of achieving the post mba placement we have an excellent research section at fngmat.com/mba-research-articles where we cover salary curriculum and placement trends Number two, temperament. Your recommender is the first person to validate the key personality traits required to transition into a career. If your post MBA goal is about career transition, or highlight your leadership traits. If the post MBA goal is ambitious and requires specific leadership qualities, you can brainstorm with me by subscribing to F N G Math's recommendation letter editing service. With the service, I will create a guideline document that will help the supervisor cite and expand on qualities required for your post MBA goal. The number one reason applicants are rejected is a mismatch in temperament. If you are in a desk job, say in technology, and the post MBA role is geared towards collaborating with multiple stakeholders, you need a credible volunteering experience to validate the goal. The same goes for ambitious post MBA goals like starting a non-profit or a company that serves underserved communities. All these goals would be believable if you were the primary person to start an initiative in your company or the non-profit you serve. You don't need exact entrepreneurial experience to cite entrepreneurial goals, but it improves the authenticity of your story if you started ventures regardless of the outcome or size. Number three, performance metrics. Most applicants who are transitioning to another industry of function. realize fast that they have used their growth and acquisition of skills to achieve the company's objective now is the time to expand on other aspects of their personality to transition into another industry or function but how do you do that without showing some dip in performance this is a delicate topic you must work closely with the supervisor to ensure that poor performance in say a project is not included in the weakness question of the recommendation letter i remember watching mike tyson's last bout when the sports reporter asked him why he's retiring mike honestly replies i can train and be fit but i don't have the fight and guts anymore so don't include your knocked out project in your weakness essay or your supervisor's feedback question the best strategy is to approach supervisors who saw you at your peak and then develop a strategy for your recommendation letter if you need my help with mba application strategy essay editing recommendation letter editing or resume editing contact me atuljos@store.fngmat.com/contact-fngmat